<laughs> and what's up, everybody? Dr. Evil Genius back with a live commentary of sorts. Not your typical commentary, as there will be no gameplay. Today, we're going to open up a few supply drops in honor of me reaching level 200. I did surpass it a little bit uh, streaming last night. I think I streamed over four and a half hours playing with Matt Murda and JD from NY. And of course, you know, Vex. Vex is always around, right? What's up, Vex? Um, so this is actually my second time attempting to do this video. Um, I tried to use a piece of equipment that really was not working very well. And this is kind of like a retake. So just like with the other one, because at the time I had more than 1300 crypto keys, I'm going to open enough supply drops to get me down to about 700. And then we're going to go look at my stats uh, from uh, level uh, 200, you know, from 100 to 201. So you guys can see the progression. All right. So we're going to open up 10 or so supply drops, probably 11, because I'll get a couple of extra crypto keys or whatever. Uh, so yeah, let's get this done. Outlaw Argus Quick Draw Variant. Okay. Oh, this is laggy. Transgression Camel for the Black Cell. Eh. Whoa, this is laggy. Yo, I have to say... I do like the Swindler camo. So to be able to get two of them in one supply drop, I am not mad at that at all. Ritual camo for the M8. I wouldn't be surprised if I already have that. Monochrome for the Vesper. You guys know that I'm a a dark matter guy, so it's cool, but probably not going to use it. Light Razorback camo. Eh, that might be interesting. Still not going to use it. Whoa, this is laggy as fuck! Check it out, check it oh, out. This is not so bad. 80s Flash. Dragon Spirit Emblem. It all looks really flashy, but it's all very useless. I got the gem combat knife camo. Not too bad. I already have the fast mags variant on the brechi, so that's a waste. And they really don't give you enough crypto keys for your du for your duplicates. They really don't. I like that uh, vampire, but I believe I already have the Templar prophet head theme, so that's annoying. Three supply drops left. Uh, well, that's a waste. That wasn't supposed to happen. Vampires versus werewolves. That's cool looking. The gangster seraph looks uh, pretty cool. Whatever. Two left. Yeah, it looks like stuff I already have. The violet one looks cool. 
I'm pretty sure I have Ritual for Pharaoh already. And this is the last one, I believe. Alright. So. There you have it, people. Um, didn't really get much of anything of consequence. Cause we already know what those items are. I uh, got a couple of cool looking things. Uh, no big deal. Not pissed off. Not really wowed either. It's whatever. Uh, so, now on to the second part of this video where we look at my stats uh, from when I made it to level 100 now to just past 200. We're going to take a gander at my stats. All right. As far as the challenges are concerned, you'll see that boot camp, killer, and career are all completed. I do not believe I had any of these completed by the time I reached level 100, so that's pretty cool. Uh, oh, and humiliation. Uh, Knuckle Duster is going to be done soon. Haven't really been working on the other three. Uh, I have been working on game victories. Not really all that hard since you guys know I really do focus on playing Kill Confirmed. But I got to search destroy win, ladies and gentlemen. Like, I know you guys never thought you'd ever see that, but there it is. Plain as day. Um, uh, game Heroics. Uh, I did play a couple of matches of CTF and Uplink. So I did address these here. These will get done eventually. This one, probably not. Uh, this one is a possibility, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't like really bet on it. Uh, so, uh, these are all get done. The one that I really dislike the most would be the Ripper. Uh, but once I get past the Ripper, all of these are very easy for me to do. Very, very easy. As you can see, I already have a whole bunch of these done. I'm already into the tertiary challenges for the, for the specialists anyway. Uh, and you can see again here, Rejack, I'm not going to like using this at all. I'm just not going to. Um, but all of these other ones will be easy. F fuck this Rejack shit. I've been really struggling with this. Uh, I've been using the Heat Wave... Uh, and getting killed. So I'm giving away ice medals, but I'm not getting them. Uh, the short circuit, you guys know I've, I've gotten these three done via the power core. So don't think that you have to use EMP grenades. If you equip the power core and you set it down and somebody was running this special ability, you will get credit for it. And that's how I got credit so far. I will be throwing EMP grenades, mind you, but that's not how I got this done. Uh, Rolling Thunder, sorry to everybody in Hardcore, all my teammates that I've killed, but I need to get this done, and I need to get eight more of these. Hopefully, I get this done tonight. Uh, <clears throat> uh, hard, uh, well, hard Point, uh, I think I may um, equip some uh, sentry gun stuff when I go play these objective game modes, because I really do think I can get Defender and Sentry Gun done. And of course, I can earn a, a, a G -G 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 -I unit, and that thing normally goes ham when I call it in, so I'm not really worried about that. Uh, down and out, I just need to equip the power core again. I'll do that when I'm done with the, um, with the Rolling Thunder. Uh, and I got to kill some power cores. That's not easy to do, because no one uses it. Fast mag will get done pretty easily. I only have 11 of those left. I have not been actively chasing that. Uh, FMJ is just AIDS. I think I've gotten 10 of these in the last two weeks. I thought when I hit 100 that I would only need maybe 50 more. And then I can go on about my business to requiring 300 of these kills to complete the efficiency master. Fuck this challenge. Um... I haven't really been going after this lately, but I will turn my attention to it uh, soon. Blind Eye, that's easy stuff. I already put together a class to address this. I only need 10 more. You know, UAVs go up. 
you know, like spam. So that'll get done. Overclock, I've been working on that. So I, I really do think this will get done um, in the next couple of weeks. Uh, Cold-Blooded, haven't really been going after this. This one's a little bit harder because you're talking about stuff that's on the ground. And I've been getting killed while trying to take out shit like this. So it'll get done. I'm just not like going ham after it. Uh, Gung Ho, I am actively working on that. Hopefully that gets done soon. Engineer, um, I haven't been working on that, but that's really easy. Um, I can get a couple of EMP grenades in the game and get that done. A tactical mask, I can't believe I'm this close to being finished because I normally don't use, uh, tactical grenades, so, uh, or tactical masks. So, I've been... Going after this pretty hardcore, and I've had some pretty good success and gotten some pretty funny kills. So, uh, surprise package. Haven't been going after this. This is not that hard to get. Although people are kind of getting hip to it a little bit. Um, it'll get done eventually. I'll get three more people to take that bait. You guys know I'm not really a lethal or tactical guy, so I'm not, not really going after these. Have no interest in this at all. Uh, and you guys know I completed the wild cards a long time ago. So, uh, oh, an arena. I think I got something in arena done. I think I got a win in arena. Ah, rank one. See, got my first arena win. Um, so, you know, whatever. All right, whatever. Um... I don't think I got any season vet though, right? So, fuck him. Uh, so that's for the challenges. Uh, for the stats, I have 43,311 kills at this point. With a 166 KDR, I believe I was below 160. So my KD has gone up. My score per minute has gone up. My win-loss ratio has all gone up. I attribute this to uh, playing more free for all and tearing up lobbies uh not using weapons i don't like to use you guys know that i was slogging away for dark matter for so long and i really hated it and i semi recently decided that i was not going to use weapons i don't like or weapons that put me at an at a disadvantage that i really should not be at because i'm not the mark of jay so I'm not that good of a player to be using weapons that don't help me get kills. So uh, this is where it's at at 10 days, 21 hours, 22 minutes, 38 seconds played. Uh, my headshots are still above 10%, but I'm not focused on that at all. So uh, <clears throat> the percentage is down from where it was. It's still above 10%, but I'm not really headhunting like I was before. But occasionally I have these motherfuckers give me some head. Uh, I got a couple more Relentless Medals. I think you guys know about the Kill Chain and the Mega Kill that I got. I got them both in the same game. No, the not the Mega Kill. The Ultra Kill and the Kill Chain. I got those in the same game. Um, do you guys really care about these medals? No one gives a fuck. Okay. Uh, as far as the guns are concerned... Um... Razorback is my most used weapon. I have semi-retired it. It's just the most reliable gun in the game, especially in hardcore. It's just what it is. And you can see that, you know, in the back it says uh, peace on it. I know you guys can't really kind of see that. But on the back end of the gun, it says peace. I think this is really what the peacekeeper was in Black Ops 2. Uh, the VMP, I've been using it a lot because I'm not good with it. So don't let the 2300 kills fool you. I've been using it, trying to get better at aiming, trying to get better as a player. I will be semi-retiring it because I have a lot of kills with it. And I need to use some other SMGs. Uh, the Mano Porn, I've uh, been doing very well with it. I have semi-retired it because I have a whole bunch of kills with it. And I need to use some other ARs. The CUDA is now my go-to weapon whenever things are not really going well. Uh, the Razorback was that gun. I've replaced that with the CUDA. So the CUDA's got a few more kills. The Pharaoh is not as good as it used to be. So this is uh, very 
disappointing. I really love using this gun, but I think they nerfed it. I uh, will be using the Canon 44 a little bit more, uh, but that's after I've had my fill of the XR2, and I've been using that a lot. So uh, the M8, you guys know I don't like using it. Don't let the 181 fool you. I don't like the M8 A7. Fuck this gun. Fuck this gun. The HVK did get a buff. And I'm looking forward to using this gun again. So that might be my go-to AR whenever I'm done using the XR2 as my go-to. Uh, the ICR1, that's going to be fun. Even though I really don't really like this gun. But they've made it a laser. And in hardcore, you kind of push you at a disadvantage. Because there, there are places where you need three shots to kill in hardcore. Which is very annoying. And where every other gun needs one shot to kill, it's a two-shot kill. So the time to kill is just too long. Uh, but I've been using it intelligently in hardcore, thus the 204 KD, which is the highest among uh, all guns. The Vesper, I have not been doing well with it, but I've been having a lot of fun with it. Really trying to control this bucking Bronco of a weapon because you know the nerfs, they made it where it's really not reliable. The gun kick is ridiculous. Uh, they've buffed it a little bit uh, about a week and a half ago, but this is also a gun that I use to try to make myself a better player. Uh, the Weevil, haven't really been focused on this very much. I don't really like the gun. Uh, the Dingo, the KD's down a little bit, but I'll get it back up. BRM, haven't really used it. I'll get that. Uh, Haymaker, I've been using it to get the... What's that challenge? The uh, the gung ho challenge. I've been running into buildings, blasting the shit. Uh, the forty eight dredge. This is my Picasso paintbrush. That I've been spraying people with in hardcore. Uh, I do like using this gun. Uh, the movement's a little slow, and I've been really on a rush, 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 rush. So that's why I don't really use it very much. The L car. They uh, nerfed it, where it's just not as reliable as it used to be. The recoil is undesirable so sometimes like i'll use it just to fuck around and it's like what the fuck am i doing this shit is going all over the place i don't like the mx garand even though i really did do a lot to improve my kd with this gun i don't like it i don't really give a fuck about this gun you may see me use it later because i think they buffed it recently but fuck this gun the marshall this shit is op you know, I denied it in the past that it wasn't OP because of the reload mechanism. But this shit is OP. I have to admit, this shit is a delete button, especially in core game modes. You know, as it's becoming more ubiquitous as people are getting them out of supply drops. I've been smacked with it several times and it's like, hit marker, hit marker, hit marker, bump, done. Damn. And if they have a Kimbo, fuck it. You're, you're done. Especially if they know how to use a Kimbo. The Gorgon, I'm not using it because it's just too fucking slow. It's just too fucking slow. The Argus, my KD is up with it a little bit. I really don't enjoy using this gun. I had to find different ways to aim the gun so that it would be reliable. The way that you, um, you know, when you're hip firing the gun, the way that it kind of points toward the center is not the same way as the other shotguns or really any of the other guns for that matter. So the way that it kind of looks, you think that you're shooting your target and you're really not. And I had to kind of work around that a little bit and find out where the true center is for hip fire with this. And I have gotten better with it, but I still don't enjoy losing, using it because of the lever action and the levering gets you killed in hardcore. The KRM 262, I've been using it a little bit. Don't enjoy it. The pump action gets you killed in hardcore. The Brecci is OP as fuck. You'll hear a whole bunch of people complain about it. You know, anytime JD gets hit with it, it's like, oh shit, are you fucking kidding me? Well, he got hit with the Brecci. You know, it's just what it is, you know. Um, the Shiva, I know they buffed it lately. I don't really like using it. I'll see if it's worth using again, but I really hated using this gun. The MR6, I will be using this to go asshole mode soon, so stay tuned for that. RK5, I don't really like using this gun. I don't really think it's as good as the MR6, uh, but I will be using it in the future because, you know, just to be an asshole. Uh, the Dracon, Locust, the PO6, 
uh, SVG. I'm not using these guns anymore. A butterfly knife, combat knife. I've already gotten them gold. Not going to be using those. You will see me using the black cell. Only because there are some more kill streak related things I need to get done. Uh, fist, you will be seeing me getting at least four more of those to complete that other challenge and humiliation. And that's a wrap for that. As far as specialists are concerned, who really gives a fuck? I know I don't. Uh, score streaks, lots of UAV. Uh, I've been doing my hater thing a little bit. I don't really use the counter UAV anymore. But as far as killers are concerned, the Cerberus, the Wraith. I've been using the Wraith lately. I haven't been using the wraps, but you'll see that again. Because that shit is... Uh, they buffed it again. It didn't even need to be buffed, but they buffed it again. The dart is actually very cool. I thought that was garbage when I first uh, started using... Uh, when I first started playing this game. And then I started using it. And I was like, oh, this shit is the shit. Hardened Sentry. I got to get some challenges done with it. The Talon, I don't really like it. But I've seen the Mark of J use it. I might go back to that and start flying around with it. See what's up. I don't like the lightning strike. Um, I love the mothership. Mothership. Although I feel like the hit detection is really bad with the mothership. You're shooting them, shooting them. And it's like, yo, what the fuck? But maybe I just need to use it better. I don't know. Rolling Thunder, you guys know I need to get a couple more kills with that. Uh, the Guardian, you guys know how much I hated using the Guardian. That took a very long time to complete the challenges. I'm glad I don't have to use those again. The GI unit, you will see that up make a comeback. Um, you know, I've blown people up with the care package already. And I think I dropped one on somebody before. Uh, I don't even know why the power core has a kills per use. Because the power core can't get any kills. But whatever. Um, do you guys give a fuck about this? Nope. And neither do I. So... As you can see, 373 score per minute, 183 KDR, uh, uh, win-loss ratio, just WLR, 167 KDR. I've been working on uh, improving that. Um, I can attribute those things to playing hardcore free-for-all, playing with better players and meeting cool people, and really attacking with weapons that are actually viable. So... I'm hoping that by the time the next game comes out, which will be Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare Remastered. Um, by the, you know, I'm hoping that I can get my KD towards 180. You know, you know, I do have a couple of bad games here or there. I do have a couple of 50 kill games under my belt. I did have a 77 kill game, so watch out for that. If the um, if I didn't use the wrong equipment to record it um i'll be bringing that to you um so yeah you know these are the stats for now and we'll see where i'm at at level 300 uh in the comment section you guys can let me know what you thought of this what i can do to improve videos like this what i can do to improve my stats classes that you'd like me to use weapons that you'd like me to use if they're not sniper rifles or knives or the ripper uh, and any other way that you can uh, help me improve my content so that I can entertain you guys better. All of that stuff would really be appreciated, as would likes and subscriptions. I will see you on future streams and videos.